Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a versus video where we compare the textural differences of long layering with a razor versus long layering with a scissor. So let's get started. So the whole concept behind this type of layering and, and comparing these two tools is because you know what's really prevalent in, in hair right now is this 70s sort of layering. And the 70s was really a dichotomy between really, really textured versus really, really structured and blunt. So we want to see the textural differences between the two, and then you can compare to see which technique would work better for your layering and for the desired effect that you're looking for and the type of hair that you're working on. All right, so I'm going to start here in the nape. I'm going to comb everything straight down, find a good length where I start feeling like it's getting a little too wispy. And then I'm going to go through and cut that blunt using my Jatai Tokyo scissors. Combing everything straight down in a natural fall. Keeping my fingers from flipping. What that means is I'm not rolling my fingers up. I want to keep everything as blunt as possible. Getting that cut one length. Then on the other side, I'm going to go through and do the same thing. But now I'm going to use my feather styling razor with a type R blade. And just to keep everything consistent, I'm going to go and use the same sort of razor stroke that I'm going to use on the long layering. So I can keep everything as symmetrical and as similar as possible. Because I don't want to have a really soft, wispy kind of layering and then a really solid baseline. So I want to compare complete haircuts, blunt versus razor. Now I'm just going to go through and continue to take parallel parts, cut everything the same length until we run out of hair. Okay, we've got our base length cut. So now let's go through and do our layering. So the layering I'm going to start right down the center to keep it as even as possible on both sides. Well, that's not quite down the middle. Let's try that again. We'll go right down the center, or as close as we can get to it, all the way down to the nape. Got to pick a side. We're going to start cutting the razor side first. So I'm going to pin this out of the way. So I've taken a section on the right side from the center, take a small piece in my front, that's going to be the beginning of my layering. So I want to determine, come on, get out of there, get out of there, there we go. So I want to determine where this is gonna fall in her face, and then that's gonna be the shortest part of my layering, and then I'll use that to blend throughout. Going with my razor. Take a pretty broad stroke, probably about a two inch stroke, go across, that's gonna be the shortest part of our layering right through there. So we're gonna take small pieces of my guide, hold that up and out, continue the same broad razor stroke as we're going up to the crown. Now once I get to the crown, which is right here, I'm gonna change the angle. So here I'm going head shape from the crown out, I'll continue that line going up and out. Small piece is my guide, continue holding that 90 degrees from the head, there's my angle. We'll continue that up and out. Now I will follow the same pattern with the scissor on the other side. There's my first section. I'm gonna start right here in the crown. At the crown, I'm gonna pivot over to the corner of the hairline. Pin that out of the way. Now I'm going to bring these two sections together. Follow my guide. There you see that guideline falling out. And continue that up and towards the perimeter. Follow us on all of our socials at Jatai Feather. Perfect. Now I'm going to remove the centerpiece, the first guide that I created, and I'm going to continue to pivot 
from the high point of the head or from the crown. Combine those two together. Hold that at 90. Come, oh, come on now. Why do you got to do me dirty? Comb that up and out. There's my guide. Keep a broad razor stroke. There's my guide falling out. I can see some underneath as well. And I'm working to my perimeter length. Now once I get to the ear, I'm no longer going to pivot. I'm going to take parallel sections because the hair around the front is not as deep as the hair in the back. So if I continue to pivot, I'll end up cutting a hole right around the cheek. So I'll take this. I got my previously cut guide. I got my new hair, 90 degrees. There it's falling out. I can see my guide. Take my broad razor stroke. Remove my previous guide. I got my new guide, 90 degrees from the head, working at an angle to my perimeter length. Add, come here baby, stop running. Add my next section. There's my guide underneath. Give us a thumbs up, click the subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy videos. Now we've got the entire right side of my haircut, long layered with the razor, nice even amount of layering from the back all the way into the sides. So now we're gonna go through, I'm going to take a small piece as my guide in the front, and I'm gonna pin all of this hair out of the way. And now we're gonna cut the other side using this as my guide length and cut it the exact same way that I did on the right side. Starting with the guide in the middle. Now we're gonna go back to my Jatai Tokyo scissors. Take my piece up in the front that I see. So we're gonna comb that up my guide length, cut that blunt, following the head shape until I get to the crown. I'm creating an entire new guide for the scissor cut part of the layering for the left side. Now once I reach the high point of the head, same as the other side, I'll start to angle that length away from the head. I'm still holding it at 90 degrees. Just getting longer as I go towards the back of the head. As I reach down to the occipital bone, I should start to run out of hair. And we do. So now I'm going to continue the same pattern where I'm pivoting around the sides into the back. All right, so we finished cutting on both sides. We got our layering done. It's, it's nice and even. We got texture on the right, blunt on the left. So let's blow it dry, take a look and compare the differences. Okay, we finished our blow dry. So if we look at the razor side, even if I go through and brush everything straight back and just kind of let it fall, you'll see that the layering on this side has a little bit more volume to it. And it's also a lot more seamless when it gets brushed back and through and it starts to fall. It's much more seamless. Whereas if we compare the scissor side to the other side and I brush this back, you can certainly see that the layering has more structure to it and it pops out more and you can really see that layering kind of layer out, so to speak. So I think that's a, a nice little comparison to kind of show you when you might want to choose one over the other. If you're going for that 70s kind of retro look where you want the layering to pop and feather and see it, then I would definitely go with a scissor. 
If I want something more modern and seamless and where I'm gonna style it in beach waves or something where I don't want the layering to pop out, I just want the layering to kind of smooth and blend, I would definitely go with the razor. So check out the Detail Academy. There's all kinds of great stuff on there to make you a better hairstylist and barber. And also leave us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for checking it out and we'll see you next time.